All right, Pisces. Today is May 24th, 2023. Let's see what messages we have for the Piscean Collective today. All right, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Pisces, hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. So we have the chain, but ow. We have the chain. I just got a paper cut. Um, a chain of events that will affect your life. All right. What else? We have the month of April. So maybe something, um, maybe something surrounding last month or something that was done last month. Chair empty. Someone is leaving in your life. The key successful outcome to your problem. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. You know where that's going, right? In the lobster financial pinch. Oh, shit. All right. So we have the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. That's just funny how that came out. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life and successful outcome to your problem. So for some of you guys, this is a good thing. All right. Um, Let's see. Chain of events that will affect Pisces life. What is this in regards to? For all of you guys, it's going to be different. We're just going to see the collective energy surrounding this. All right. Chain of events that will affect. Pisces life. I just seen the double card, so hopefully I put them back in there somewhere. Okay, chain of events that will affect your life. Eight of Wands. Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles. So there could be some uh, either a delay in communication, a delay in travel, delay in forward movement here. Uh, there may be a financial choice or decision that you are weighing the pros and the cons of. Um, chain of events that will affect your life. Three of Wands. I do see that there is going to be forward movement or your ships will come in. Um, whoa, that Knight of Cups just shot out. Okay, so for some of you, um, there could be a delay. I don't know if this is a delay in communication, delay in whatever. Somebody here could be trying to balance out their finances. Someone here may be juggling two different jobs, going back and forth. There is some type of expression of emotion or a romantic proposal coming in. Um, this delay could be due to someone feeling a sense of loss or grief about a situation. Maybe someone here regrets looking at other options. Um, I'm going to try and stop doing that, but not really. <laughs> I have my TV on and it's like that way. And I always get people that ask me, why do I look to, to my, I guess your left, I don't know, my right, but it's because my TV's on and I usually keep like these really pretty visuals and it's like all ocean and waterfalls and like really cool things. And it just kind of like plays this meditation music and it switch the visuals just kind of switch of like amazing places throughout, you know, the world. And sometimes it catches my eye. For me, it's very meditative and it helps me channel, you know, or it helps me. Uh. How do I say it? it helps me like get lost. <laughs> helps me get lost. I don't know. It helps me go into a different dimension. 
a piece. I don't know how to say it. But so if you guys see me doing that, just just roll with it. I'm not distracted, okay? It actually helps helps me. So I'm gonna try to stop doing it, but damn that waterfall was great. <laughs> Okay, a chain of events that will affect Pisces life. Three of Swords. What in the world is this? So there, there was a third party here, or some type of a betrayal. Okay, maybe due to a third party. Someone could definitely be feeling sad, regret, loss. Someone may even be feeling like they're lacking direction. Yeah, someone here was juggling, going back and forth. But I do see like... If you're waiting on someone to like express the fact that they regret doing something... I don't know what this has to do with the chain of events that will affect your life. Like maybe... Um, Whatever this is, this is something that caused you some type of delays or um, and it has to do with someone who is juggling, looking at other options, not really noticing the connection between you possibly and whoever you're dealing with. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. Could be another water sign. Show me April. Queen of Cups. Temperance. So... I feel like someone may have turned their back on an earth angel or someone here um, is an earth angel. Someone here is very intuitive, loving, nurturing, patient, balanced. What does that have to do with the month of April? Someone's name could even be April. Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone here is focused on their healing, doing things in moderation. Nurturing themselves. The star. Yeah. It's, wow. Someone here is like an earth angel. Someone here is a star. Someone here is, you know, a healer. April. One more. Queen of Swords, wow. Aquarius energy is here strong. The Knight of Wands and the Four of Cups. So someone may have missed an opportunity due to being flighty. Rush, you know, being in this impulsive energy. April, what does April have to do with that? Chain of events that will affect your life. Somebody may be also like weighing, weighing, like, someone may be waiting to express something or express, you know, if somebody was juggling you with someone else, they regret doing that because I feel like whoever they were juggling you with, they are the ones, that, or whoever they, whoever was doing the juggling, they broke, either they broke their own heart or they juggled you with someone who broke their heart. This person may express this to you. They may come rushing in saying, oh, you know, I don't want to miss this opportunity. Um, I want to heal a situation. I want to let go of regrets, you know, end of end the stagnation between the two of us. I want to heal the connection. You may be telling this person like, hey, I need time or. Um.
yeah, you may be telling this person, hey, you know, like, I forgive you. Show me someone is leaving your life. But I don't know. Ultimately, I feel like they've missed their chance with you. This has kind of been the theme. Uh, someone is leaving your life. We got the Ace of Wands. The world, yeah. Someone here is starting something new. This could be a brand new cycle. A new passionate cycle after some type of a major completion, a major ending. Someone is leaving your life. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, Ace of Cups. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is here. So there is a new beginning in love here, a new passionate, new start, a spark, some type of good news, new beginning, blessings coming in, uh, fertility. Hmm. Let me see something here. Why is the five of wands here? Nine of wands reversed. So either there's like someone here who's giving up or like refusing to compromise, someone who's at odds or creating some type of conflict with you. Or this is somebody who's like coming in wanting to fight for this new beginning in love. Wanting to make the effort, wanting to be more reliable with the Knight of Pentacles. Not, you know, Five of Wands is a Nine of Wands reverse. So it's like somebody here, maybe they don't want to give up on this. They want to fight for something. They want to plant new seeds, invest into a situation, um, have a new beginning in love. So is this the same? Or this could be you, Pisces. Maybe you're the one that's like ending something with a third party and you're wanting to fight for a connection or fight for some type of a new start. Or maybe somebody's breaking something off with you and you're wanting, you don't want to give up on this. You want to fight for this. That's the way I could see it with chair empty. Show me successful outcome to your problems. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Okay. Oh. So maybe you are the one. This keeps going back and forth, but Pisces, are you the one that's like, someone may have rushed into your life dear, in April, wanting to like see some type of an opportunity, not wanting to miss out on something. But with this Queen of Cups, this Temperance, this Star, and this Queen of Swords, I feel like you gave somebody a harsh truth or you cut somebody out or you cut somebody off or you spoke your truth about a situation. Yes, you may still have emotions or or you did so in a very kind way, but unemotional. Like you weren't mean. You were very balanced, um, honest, truthful, even compassionate, possibly. 
And someone may be rushing and wanting to heal something with you because they see you as like a kindred spirit or something, or they see you as somebody who is an earth angel or someone who's very balanced in life. Okay, whatever. But I feel like someone came rushing in trying to like make something right in the month of April. And you may have decided to like disconnect from this person and go towards something new. If that's the case, I don't see this person giving up. Like, I don't see them giving up the fight. Like, but I feel like you're, you've, um, some of you could be starting something new online or some of you guys could be traveling. Some of you may already be invested into something else, into something new already. I do feel whoever, feel like whoever this is, it's wanting to like fight for a situation, not wanting to let something go, not wanting to give up on something. This person does have plans to be more like practical, more grounded, uh, more reliable, more consistent. At least that's what they're showing. Um, now the Seven of Swords in the Hierophant Reverse. Someone may have lied about a commitment or lied about getting out of a commitment or... Or someone here is strategizing how to end a commitment or a contract or a higher level of commitment. Someone here may be setting up boundaries with someone. So and that was the other way I was seeing this. Now I'm all discombobulated. But I was seeing that that's where it came from was this. Um, someone here may be strategizing how to like get out of a contract or someone may be like standing up for themselves challenging you know this could be even challenging beliefs so if there was like a difference in beliefs or challenging a beliefs or whatever you know the hair font could talk about religion so if it's like i'm just going to give an example and it could be different but this could be like somebody who my ears ringing someone who may be saying um i don't know because i don't necessarily feel that way but this is like, oh, you have to stay married once you get married or you can't, you know, till death do his part or some shit. And, you know, challenging a belief system. But somebody may be strategizing something, how to like, but if someone may be like setting up strong boundaries or. For some of you, the, the, whoever this is, this person, you guys don't share the same values or the same, hmm. yeah, the sh same values. Someone here may be non-committal and maybe a liar, cheaty, sneaky thief. Okay, you may see this person as somebody you can't trust and you're setting up boundaries with them or vice versa. Yeah, you see this person as someone man who's manipulative. Whoever this is that's coming back, I feel like you feel like this is, this would be a setback. This would, um, yeah, you feel like this would be a setback, successful outcome to your problems. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're setting up boundaries so that you can be happy. You may be sitting in this uh, Nine of Cups energy. The strength card, yeah, it's like holding back, refraining, uh, showing a lot of strength, courage, taming, taming, you know, overcoming some type of self-control, self-doubt, whatever. Um, but this is you showing a, an immense amount of strength or holding back because, you know, nine of wands. Yeah, you're holding back because you feel like something here is an ongoing battle. Like something here challenges your your morals, your beliefs, your 
something here goes goes against something and i feel like you're standing your ground standing up for yourself standing up for your belief systems standing up for what makes you happy i do feel like you're going to overcome that Some something here is exhausting, like putting in the work into a situation possibly is exhausting. So you may be even strategizing how to get out of a situation if you are in a commitment, but you feel like you don't share the same values, the same beliefs, or you feel like someone here is a liar, they are a cheat, um, they're non-committal, or they don't value or respect you, even respect, okay? This is you feeling like you've been through some type of battle, but you have the strength. You have um, you have what you need to persevere and overcome this. Show me financial pinch, please. Five of pentacles. Oh, shit. Really? Okay. Five of pentacles literally can talk about poverty, the ace of swords. So maybe this, this the ace of swords can talk about Oh. Okay, let me just go back. Five of Pentacles. Um, I don't know if there's some type of a financial hardship. You may be leaving something out in the cold. Uh, maybe you've discovered some type of truth or maybe you're having a conversation that you're going to leave something out in the cold or somebody's leaving you out in the cold. Or um, This could cause some type of financial pinch. Okay, it's a pinch. It's not forever. Um you may be facing some type of struggle or adversity or someone else's. Maybe with this cut off, this Ace of Swords. I almost feel like someone's strategizing how to like, someone's like, someone's standing up for themselves and like almost like manifesting a divorce or something. It's not funny. It's a little funny. Like if you feel like someone's been like lying to you, cheating on you, and you're waiting for someone to like apologize or make something right, I don't know that they will. I mean, they could, but they, this is like you're going to have to like, I do see like somebody waiting in regret or like waiting in vain or like don't wait on someone else to like express their emotions. If somebody here was juggling a situation, had a third party, something's backfired. Yeah, something backfired. Like I said in the beginning, so whoever somebody who, if someone was juggling somebody, that person got juggled. Or um, somebody may have said, oh, I'll, I'll divorce, I'll leave my marriage, and they lied, okay? Or maybe they said they weren't married. I don't, I don't know. In order for, you know, some type of selfish reasons. If someone came rushing towards you in the month of April, like very passionately, you know, I feel like you were very nurturing, very kind. You may have given this person some words of inspiration or hope. <laughs> Pisces, did you leave this person on? And then just to cut them off? I don't know. Or you just told this person some type of truth that, you know, you don't want some type of flighty behavior, in and out behavior. You don't want the passion. You've given up on something. You 
you drug your feet, left me feeling, you know, at some type of conflict and you're deciding to close something out, start something new. I see you overcoming something, whatever. All right, let's get going. Financial pinch. Magician and the Six of Swords again in the reverse. Like, obviously, this two cards wants to come out. These two came out earlier in the reverse. I, same as it just did. Someone's trying to manipulate their way back in. Someone's manipulation caused, like, their own setback. Okay, so five of pentacles. Whoever was manipulating a situation, that person's going through some type of a financial pinch. Someone is worried about you, Pisces. Maybe worried about what you know or worried about some type of secrets. The Wheel of Fortune is here. You may be sitting on top of this Wheel of Fortune. You may have some type of good luck coming in. Um, but someone's worried about a secret or something that's, you know. Someone's worried about a cycle closing out. You know, someone's worried about some type of secret or some type of truth. Someone may be struggling financially. And they may see you on this wheel of fortune, but there's some type of a secret here, some type of truth that has somebody stressed out. So it's almost like this person may need your help. And if this secret comes out, which it looks like it will, you're going to, or maybe somebody... If somebody did have like a, I don't know what you would call it, but um, like a side piece or a mistress or a mister or whatever you want to call it, someone on the side and they cut this person off, somebody may be like worried about their finances um, or worried about Hmm. For a small portion, someone could even be worried about their health or like secretly worried about their health. So the full card, Aries energy and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone here is stepping straight into their their destiny. Okay. Someone here is starting something new, taking a leap of faith, and it's gonna be a brand new cycle. There's abundance, there's clarity. When somebody leaves something out in the cold, there's a brand new cycle that I feel like. Um, but I don't know if someone worried about some type of secrets with this high priestess or someone's worried about you moving on, moving away. Um, this is someone who's trying to hold on to you. Hold somebody back from moving forward. Somebody doesn't want somebody moving on. It's causing someone a lot of like secret stress, fear, anxiety, sleepless nights. Why is the five of pentacles out here? This could be someone who's like worried about their financial status. They're worried about you leaving them out in the cold for someone else or because you have choices in love. But whoever this is, they didn't put in the work. Someone here may have lost their job, okay? And that could be why someone's in a financial pinch. Um, If 
Pisces, you have a choice to make here. What is his choice? Someone may have also had a choice between you and another water sign. Someone here may have a bad reputation, or this could even have been a baby's mother. The Wheel of Fortune again. So there will be a positive change, a positive shift here. Whatever this is. Something here is faded, destined. The magician, the Wheel of Fortune, some and the Empress. Someone here is manifesting a lot of growth, and someone's watching you do it. Yeah, someone's watching you have these new beginnings, manifesting, you know, all your desires. Someone here may also have a bad reputation for having multiple lovers. Like somebody may be known for this. Or you intuitively know that this person has um, choices and a bad reputation or they lost their job or that they're sitting in the five of pentacles, eight of pentacles reversed. Some of you guys are, are very, very intuitive. You know, you you know the the high priestess and the ace of swords, you already know. And someone may be worried about what you know. Okay, well. Um, let me see if I see anything else. Where are we at? 31, 41. I do see you having the strength and the courage to with, withhold from somebody who is non-committal, someone who's a liar, and focusing on your happiness. I see you having the strength to keep persevering. You may have felt like you've went through, like, you know, this is you kind of growing a backbone in a situation, standing up for yourself, standing up for your beliefs, standing up for what makes you happy at the end of the day. For some of you guys, you could be the one that's strategizing how to get out of a contract or a commitment that you're not happy in, where you feel like you're not respected. You guys don't share the same belief systems or the same values in life. Okay. You may be the one that's wanting to give up with, you know, the fight, give up fighting for something. You want to give up uh, the drama. You want to invest into something new. You want to close the cycle out. This may be something that is slow moving or has been in the works or it's been taking a long time. You may have even felt conflicted about doing this and so you kind of drug your feet on a situation if that's the case. But I do see possibly like last month someone rushed rushing in or rushed in wanting to heal a situation and it looks you know not wanting to miss an opportunity and it looks like you kind of given this person some type of truth i don't know if you gave this person some type of hope or inspiration or what or you're just someone who's at peace very nurturing balanced energy you may be very inspirational you may be a true speaker some of you guys could be you know do something in the healing arts Queen of Swords and the Star. Some of you have Aquarius in your chart, Sagittarius. I do feel like someone regrets something. I don't know if you're waiting on an apology or this person is waiting for something to come in that they've been juggling or working on and it's delayed and they before they express something to you. Okay, that could be the case too. So I'm going to leave this reading here. Um... Let's do a couple angel answers. So if you guys have a question, ask it now. I'll pull three cards. So pick either one, two, three. For a question you may be asking. Holy Spirit for the Pisces Collective watching this video. For the ones that pick number one, can we get an answer to their question? Hmm. Helpful people and within the next few months. So let's take those. So number two, you guys got yes. Number three, um, perfect timing. Okay. 
So for those of you guys that chose number one, something may be, this chain of events may be going on within the next few months, and there may be people around you to help you, assist you, or guide you, or you may need to call upon helpful pe people, and this could be your helpers in the 5D or the 3D. For those of you that chose number two, the answer is yes. For those of you that chose number three, you got perfect timing, so something here may be the right time. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, give you clarity, let me know. Smash that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.